Greetings, everyone. I am trying to get Uber Eats going here so I can make some money doing that. They have sent me a text message this afternoon saying that one of my documents needs to be fixed. For some reason, I've sent in all the information. I'm not sure what's going on. I'll show you a, a quick uh, view of that. So that text message right above the bottom one, it says here, click here to download the Uber app. I did that. Thought everything was good to go. Then I get this one at, that was early in the afternoon, almost at 1 o'clock today. Then at 2.50 p.m., you see the, the this one here. It says, uh, hi, Stephen. We had trouble accepting your document. Please visit your partner dashboard to resolve the issue. Well, I go there, and I'll show you what it's showing. The first notification on the top says, welcome. Then below that, there's two messages. Say the same thing. Sorry about that. Problem with vehicle insurance. Okay, so hang on a second. I'll show you what it's showing in my app as far as my documentation for my insurance and registration and everything. So there you go. Green checks all up and down. I have no idea what the issue is, but it's pretty frustrating. I w had planned on doing Uber Eats tonight, giving it my first try at deliver delivering, but now I'm just having to go with the Postmates. See how that goes. And it's only 5.12 in the afternoon or evening. Kind of early for people to be ordering food, but I figured it, what the heck, I'd give it a shot. And I had my Uber Eats app open and my Postmates app open. Haven't gotten any orders yet, but um, let's hope I get some because I might get some rain here in a little bit. Looks like the worst part's kind of moving off to the uh, east, not or uh, west, that way. So I may not get any. I may not get wet. I don't know. A few raindrops would be fine. That might mean more orders from people that don't want to get out and get wet. So that's maybe a good thing. Okay, so I think I've got the document situation resolved with Uber Eats, and I will let you know in a few days. Um, oh, I know what I was going to talk about. Um trying to get more views on my channel uh, on my videos um, kind of stuck you know lucky to get a hundred views after about two weeks which is I, I appreciate everybody that's viewing but I have a thousand and twelve subscribers and I think a lot of people aren't getting uh, notified that I've posted videos for some reason and I've had several people comment. Someone recently commented as well uh, about that, uh, that they're not getting notified that my videos are showing up. And uh, I don't know what YouTube does, why they, why that gets changed in someone's um, subscription notices on their channels that they watch. Uh, no, I don't know if, uh, if YouTube's doing it or if it happens after a while. Maybe, after, you know, if someone hasn't posted videos to their channel in a month or something maybe notifications get turned off automatically I have no idea what's going on but I appreciate each and every one of you that do watch and comment and I am very thankful for you a lot of people do YouTube videos um, as an income and that's exactly part of why I'm doing videos but partly because I'm very creative and uh, I enjoy creating these videos and not just vlogging and talking to to you guys on camera but putting together funny stuff or you know creative stuff showing where I'm at and things like that and um, I haven't even gotten a, a single payment yet for any of, of the stuff I've done. I've had my channel since 2006. Uh, I didn't monetize it or get it monetized until last year sometime. 
and um, it's just been slow going. You have to get a lot of views on your channel to get mon uh, to where you can get monetization settings on your videos. So I finally got there, and it's just been slowly, slowly. You know, when you have to get to a once you hit the hundred dollar threshold, they'll Google will then pay you, and I am getting pretty close to that. Uh, suggestions, please, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you're a YouTuber and you're watching this, give me some ideas uh, on what I can do. Our, our full tiny house channel is going great. The, uh, the recent scare with the COPPA law, you know, has kind of uh, put Dana in a panic, and I'm kind of relaxed about it not haven't been worried too much about it but you know hey we don't know what if what if it gets to where they cut our income for that channel and uh, I'm not retired I don't have I don't make a disability income or anything like that I don't get a monthly check for anything unless I work for it so I'm I'm that's what I'm trying to do is work for it and uh, uh, figure out something so anyway leave me some comments y'all appreciate y'all's views